And welcome back to the Home Goal FC podcast. We have Kev Brothers and the main man, Dom. Kevin, Kyle, take it away, sir. Dom, thanks very much for joining us and taking us through that. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey! Oh, yeah. 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 Hey! Am I reading this bit? You're right at the start. So this oh, week podcast right, comes okay. to us from the obviously our headline sponsor and good friends, Jones White. Brilliant in here, innit, boys? You've been in here a few times, brothers, haven't you? No, no I've never been in here. You've been in here a few times, big boy. <laughs> By the way, you keep in here soon the way you're talking about Lynn, aren't you? How is she anyway? Did they divorce? Uh, we do, do I? I actually read a good thing today. I read an article today that says that you're better off the giller than being divorced and single. So we'll just ride the storm on there. So I'll maybe get a wee while. I'll get six months, I'll maybe, maybe need to call you there. Nah, mate. I'm not going to do that. Right. Let's stay away from that chat. Now, Dom, you're the head, I mean, it says here the head of group legitation. What does that actually mean? Legitation. Group litigation. Litigation. So, right. Litigation. That's what I was meaning, you know. Head that. Of group so, what does that mean for the guys like myself who've not got a clue what that means? So, guys like yourself. Me, my friend. So, for instance, the diesel emission scandal just now. It's a case that, that, that we've got as part of a group litigation. So, it's, we can represent thousands of people in the one action. So it's like a class action in America. Aye. So in this case, we've got diesel emissions. So see, on the diesel emissions, talk to me about it. I had a diesel car. Well, for the last 10 to 15 years, biggest manufacturers of, of cars, your Mercedes, Vauxhalls, Nissans, Volvos, um, we believe that they've, they've installed what's called a cheat device. A cheat device in, in their vehicles, their diesel vehicles. Oh. Is that today with like emissions? It is. So what they try to do, pump out lower emissions than what they're saying they're pumping out? Exactly. So what happens is these cars, they understand they're in testing conditions. So it's to do with the, the temperature in the labs. Yeah. And what that allows them to do is go down in a low emission mode and they'll give out just enough emissions to pass the test. But then when they're driven about in the normal road, then produce much more. So ultimately, the people that are buying the cars are being misled to actually so I'm looking at this thinking, me as a wee taxi driver in the city, when these charges come in, it's down to them because they've been pumping out higher emissions and we've had to put in charges to, to reduce the emissions. Well, so on that then, though, what do you need from a customer then? What if you don't have the paperwork to prove that you had that car? Well, well, all we need just now from is a registration and it'll take, take you less than a minute to check. Go on to the Jones White website jonesweight.co.uk there's a link at the bottom to follow as well all you have to do is put your registration in if it's within the last 10 to 15 years we'll tell you within a minute if you if you qualify is this similar to listen. <laughs> <laughs> is this similar to like a, no equivalent but similar to the PPI scandal to a degree I've like been missold something or misled misled I that's right um, put the registration into that link if it comes back to a qualifying vehicle we'll take your case on the window fee Essentially, it could be free money for you. Could you? So you could gain some money back then, right? Yeah, potentially thousands. Oof. As many cars as you think you've... As many cars you've got. Oh, I had a few cars, have you? No, uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're a mighty big boy, you've got a few big belters, you know. Uh, what about Porsches? You get them in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I should say, it doesn't have to be a new car. So it can be an old car, it can be a leased car, a motability car. You better get it. Okay, get more about scooters. More about scooters. My scooter's get parked scooter. outside, you know. Scooters. <laughs> no, because I didn't. We've not had a scooter yet. I mean, uh, you think about it. Put it in. <laughs> What's it? So, just, just to, to, would you want to summarise it for the viewers? Yeah. So, go on to Jones White website yeah. now. Time is running out with these. Oh, is it? It's potential. Oh. Uh, the, the shutters are coming down soon. So, has there been a successful claim yet, or is it what are you looking? Are you looking for numbers so that you have a group of people that makes it a stronger case to go and then fight the the battle? The battle. Well, there has been. We. We were part of a, a steering group, so we, we settled a, a case against Volkswagen um, yeah, for millions of pounds uh -huh. very recently. So on the strength of that... Well, guys, listening in, you might get money for nothing here, uh -huh. potentially. A few quid in your pocket. That's, yeah, that's right. Transplant there as well. That's Once right. That's it, you back. Oh, not as much as this. This will get you anyway. <laughs> Don't you've been absolutely <laughs> outstanding. Oh, right, we're going to have a wee Thank you. Right, cheers. What a sub it was, David Tutton, how are you my friend? Magnificent, how are you mate, alright? Good to see you. Good. The last time I seen him, I'm no joking, I had you swing you about the dressing room, with <laughs> No, no. Remember that? When did you try and do What happened? I can't remember, I just I remember you started, to, you were screaming, remember? I'm yeah. Joe's member. I sparred me and you, remember? So and you jumped the ring and you hit me hard and you flew out the ring and ran right out the place <laughs> and never came back. We this never came back. I digged him a belt and he sprinted it right out of his. I never came back, but... Just left. It's a bit like he's played to you. I know. Yeah, I thought you were all right. Gives him fire. Oh, this morning, isn't he? Fire. Uh, 
Stuff okay. is a blow. Oh my god. Mate, mate, be fair, mate, you've had some career, but at Earth. Oh, oh wow, man. You were brilliant, but you were brilliant back in the day. Sound on that, you were munificent, mate. Day, so you were good to have about. <laughs> it was just not for me. How good was it, but? It was good, laughing. We were talking about Marco and Kerzo and all that. Kerzo. You, Scotty. Big beats, that was some dress there, but. You beats. Hi, but you slaughtered him, didn't you? He's going to have you. That's why I don't always, I always say this, but Beats actually got me really well, as you know. Yeah. And then I gained him, but he would batter me as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, big, boy, by the way, he can fight, by the way, in the, in the ring, remember? Hitting that bag. Oof. No, we've asked him, what about him as a player? <laughs> Listen, you obviously gave me a bit, that's fine, but I'm going to say, you're a fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have you ever watched the film uh, when they're on the jail and they had a game of football? What's that called with the monk and goals? Name machine, that. Yeah, that was your nickname, the monk. Yeah, but that was, that was Jim uh, McCulkin that gave me that. Uh, you are the monk. South. Was it? Tap, I've obviously been doing these side games and he was a, he was a side man and the boss went to him. But I've went to get it, but I've slipped and tripped and I've threw my head at his boot on her. And that was it, just mad monk. That was it, just stuck. And then Conroy as well. I remember like, the first time I met, uh, the, the first session I went there, I was on the bus. I don't know if I've got to say this. I was on the bus and we were flying down to the train. It was that we asked at the school, but right yeah. Oh, aye, aye. So we're flying down and we're sort of, I mean, we're going about, I mean, 30, 30 minutes through here. And the side door just goes, I'm just here, I'm going fucking right, yeah. flying right up. I did, mate, I did. I did, mate. We were like, aye. Weren't you? Was it was good. Like, the boys used to just tell him to do something stupid and you would think, no, you, you'll not do that. It was Mark. And you used to turn around and say, I have only. It was Marco. Remember and Marco? Did. Aye, I did, I did a few times. You used to chuck the and say, you know, he'd have that bin. I was and like, cast iron bins, chuck them up and they go, whoosh. No, I'm not. It's all right. <laughs> a, it was Marco, don't I remember last time. Philip Roberts to fucking United Day stuff like it that. It was, remember he said, aye. Mr. Travel, we're missing man. By the way, I liked him. She's a manager and I thought he was good. He was good, mate. That season was, was hard, mate, wasn't it? That was difficult. Basically, him and Andy, the, the two of them were good. Was I was like, oh, mate. You're not good enough. Do you remember one at Sunra? I gave two penalties away. He was like, shouldn't the ref to send you off? I'm like, cheers, Mark. I'm trying to give me send off. I've said, just send them off for him. I give two penalties away. And he's like, that's the worst goalkeeper performance I've ever seen in my life. Are you still playing, mate? I've still. We're still hanging in there as long as I can, mate. I'm the goalie coach stroke player, so. But, um. I wish I keep talking about it. the boys and that. it's good, mate. It's a good. It's a good set up there, Reese is brilliant. See Reese and Dicey, two of them are magnificent. Trying to Reese, remember we talked about a lot of young coaches, mm -hmm. and we'll get into this quickly, we'll move on, but mm -hmm. we'll talk about a lot of young coaches and young managers. Mm -hmm. Reese McCabe could go. 100%. 100%. Aye, because the boys, the boys take to him the way he goes about his the identity, the philosophy he's playing, they're all taking to him. Aye. And, uh, aye, and they're all doing it in the pitch, so we're doing really well. So he still plays Reese, sir? Aye, good player, mate. Has, is he, is he good, good player. is he able to like control things from the. He does, but if, if he's making subs, blah, 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 he'll shout to me. Puts right. get him ready, blah, 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 take somebody off and put somebody on, so he's he'll shout to me, so. Yeah. Aye. Dangerous. By the way, great trust. That's what you need, loyalty and trust. That's what it's like, that's what, what you he, need. Has he, he got that side team, though, where they can switch? That's what oh, he's... Has he? Aye. A couple of weeks ago, he, he switched and I, I was like, what? I was a wee bit, took him to it, obviously. Is he want you hutch to get your goalkeeper to play it all the time? Aye, he's wanting to play for the back. Aye, but we're not a team that can turn teams big big high balls up front because we've not got the players to do that mm. um, obviously we're good at passing the ball breaking lines we frizz in the middle of the park so no, that's the way he wants to play and the boys are taking it on board did so. he take big Jim's job? aye Jim oh, do you have a job? <laughs> <laughs> nah big Jim Jim was good to be fair he was there and I was there big Jim but he used to play things at the top corner and celebrate not a lot Jim what are you doing man? <laughs> but he was the fair he, he, does, was, he was good I like Jim he was, he was brilliant no, great guy I want to go into your career so just calm yourself right down there <laughs> Kevin Kyle hospitality first time in open goal history take it away my friend I know there's a great day planned which sees your tickets include a free scan from Box Bar I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most <laughs> I'm going to get a free Box Bar this Saturday well, so that's, I mean, that's box the game bar, isn't it? Right, so Box Bar's bringing the food up I presume is that bringing that, that hot Chicken wing challenge again. Oh, as long as I play, watched after that. the players before the game. <laughs> as long as it didn't play any Was it hot? I watched it. Oh, it. oh mate. Hot. Brutal it looked like it. Brutal. <laughs> right. Um, and then obviously access to the bar, executive seating for the game, plus entertainment, including a pre-match question and answer with me. Ask me whatever you want. I'll just give you the honest answer. And then afterwards, <laughs> if uh, anything you want, is anything it at all. No holes barred, do you? No holes barred. Are Ask you me wearing everyone. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Maybe a wee jump That's shot or something. That's a nice new <laughs> um, oh, no, uh, and then obviously after you're going to have a question, a question and answer with Sai and Slaney, but that's all dependent on a result. <laughs> nah, we'll that. get a result on Saturday. The boys, are, yeah. the boys have been, the boys have obviously had a, a big break. A game before. Again. All right, W star wins um, tonight. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they had a good result at the weekend. Yep. Um, so, um, no, listen, first time we've done it, Slaney, and I think it'll be a success. I think it'll be no idea. I think it'll be listen, for 35 few, bangers. And there's a few tickets left, so make sure you get on the website and the link in bio below. Um, Brothers, Rangers B was our last game. How did you think it went? I thought it was a good performance against arguably the best side in the league. Uh, always difficult playing the B team, especially Rangers self. We have found it difficult, mate, haven't we, yep. them this yeah. season? I think they raised their game against us as well, if I'm being honest. Um, but the way they move the ball and the, their interchange, is, it's, it's hard to play against. Um, mm-hmm. But I thought we'd come up with a good game plan and we stuck to it. And arguably, we could have went on and won that game. Mm-hmm. There was a spell, wasn't there? There was a spell, I think, from... Maybe they start the second half and we got good 20, 25 minutes where you think we're in tap here. Right. Let me see if we can score a couple more or yeah. whatever. But uh, no, they, it's so hard because we, it's so hard to sort of understand what, what is, sort of what's the right way of going and playing these teams. Do we sit off or do we go and try press? Because it's, I don't know, it's difficult, isn't it? We found I, that especially. To go toe to toe with them sometimes, where they are, they've got top players. Well, you see the money they're spending at B level. They had a player playing it, cost them 400 grand. Mm-hmm. So. That's what you're competing against, that even at like this level with the B teams. If they can go and spend that money, how, how can teams in the low only compete with that? They can't. No. And it's the same with Celtic. Mm-hmm. Yep. No. So it is. But even the, them being full time is a big advantage as well. And the fact that they played a few games, we had a good, what, two weeks break mm-hmm. before that game. Yeah. So to come out and have the energy levels we did it was brilliant. Um, and it, hopefully it gives us that wee kick on now that we can go yeah. in a rerun. Have you seen, bro, sort of the last time we were on the podcast or sort of during the start of the season, have you seen an improvement in our boys and our team that we were playing? I think we have. I think as well, not only has the boys improved, I think you, the coaching staff mm-hmm. have as well because we were set on this one dimension play, but I think as a coaching staff we've, we've developed that no every game you can play that certainly, you need to adapt mm-hmm. and we have adapted against the B teams, especially for the first game against Celtic, we, we learned from that. Yeah. Hutch, have you come to watch any of the games? Oh, yeah, I've been, that's nice of you. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> I will, mate. I've been invited by Jim's and Dell's been sent to make a line, so I'll come along one Friday night. But ah, I mean Dell, I. I mate, not like him. Nah. Great guy, mate. Okay, what were you with your thoughts on the team, mate? I think like I've said this before, like in all the games that Broomhill's played this year, nobody apart from maybe the odd B team and possibly Sterling Uni away and Trinent away. I think we're as good as anybody in that league. Um, the difficulty has been injury suspensions at the wrong time, games being cancelled, which is always going to happen because I think possibly in the last 46 weeks we haven't had many games, no. maybe three, four games. And I think the good parts of the season when everybody's been fit and healthy and no suspensions, we've went on a run of games where we've went eight, nine, ten games yeah. undefeated. Nobody able to get that momentum going because of breaks and the, 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 the fixtures and stuff, but if there's a time to go on a run of fixtures, it's now. Start middle beat you start tomorrow night. You still in uni who's up there pushing. Three points off of them yeah. would be open up to some of the teams. Uni, you know, they're, 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 like, they're another full time yep. um, team who's training every day. Um, well organised by the manager. He's he's had them going well. Good run in the Scottish Cup. Aye. So it'll be a tough game, but a game that we shouldn't fear. A game that we should be going there with confidence, especially having... I would say Drew, Drew with Rangers B, but potentially could have won that game. Yep. Um, and I think that's just been the kind of summary of the season that some of the games we should have won and we've lost some horrific games. And all teams have done the same, but I always, I will always say it, he's still in home and away, and in at home, seven points, missing a penalty against Spartan, add in nine points to your t- t- tally, you're sitting four points behind top of the league. And that's the difference, it's fine margins. Yep. And that's what I think this year... We'll give it. We'll really give it a run right to the end of the season. But I think it's a big learning curve. Like Broder says, the coach has been able to adapt to different scenarios like that Celtic game at home up in the Airdrie. They popped the ball about and we just chased shadows and they were just like I say they're full time. They're fitter. They've got they're paying four hundred grand for players and stuff. It's tough. But I, I, I honestly think there's been a massive. I mean, at the start of the season, we had maybe played really good two games and maybe the next game it wasn't so good. But I think now we're, I mean, the results were then they had the wins, but I think the consistency has been there. And I think we're showing that. See, the way we're playing, brothers, as well, we were playing and uh, when the right time to press on yeah. I think as a team, they were overall much better. No, I definitely agree with both. What you're saying, I think 
for a senior player and the coaching staff point of view, like the mistakes we were making at the beginning of the season, yeah. we don't really concede yeah. goals like that. No, you're not seeing that, are you? Proper good goals we concede, and sometimes you've just got to hold your hands up and say it's a good goal. Whereas maybe the first ten games, without naming players, a, a cross would come in and and maybe get end up in your goal with someone misclearing or the yeah. or Div dropping it, and he opened his hands up because you can see from the beginning of the season how well Div's come on as a goalie, and who knows where these guys will go? They might no be with us next year they might go to a higher level, level. Mm-hmm. and I think that's a good thing from a club and a coaching staff point of view but from a coaching staff point of view as well you've seen the progress of these players they have improved um, we've improved as a team and um, we're adapting so these players have learned a style of play that Sai wants to play playing from the back being brave they're, they're brave at doing that they've got another side where they can dig deep and be ugly now so these players have improved and if they're with us next year Great, if not, and they move on to Berlin, bigger and better things. That that that's good for a couple of things as well. I think the hard. biggest the biggest compliment you can give the team is that the, the, the performance against Spartans away, horrible conditions, where wind blowing right over the park, down behind twice, and got back to two two, and then missed a penalty in the last minute. And you're like thinking, if that had been earlier in the season, that game would have been put to bed oh, by Spartans, gosh. and that'd have been it. Yeah. But the boys kept going, and then the week after, I think they played East Kilbride up there, up at K Park, and I felt we thought we were the better team by far. Yeah. Um, they got they got a really good goal. They've made a couple of good saves, but we also hit the the bar twice, a couple of good opportunities. And I think ever since then, it's just been a case of trying to get momentum. But the games have been cancelled for whatever reason, or the fixtures have been rejigged. Whereas now, I think it's going to be potentially going to be Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday for the yeah. next. Yeah. I think you've got 10 games to go in there. Is it 10? You look at every game this year. I don't think there's, apart from the Celtic B game yeah. and Rangers B there. A game you would say, right, we've been blown away. I mm. think we've probably dropped points from our point of view. We always making mistakes. Yeah. No way team has beaten us. No, it's like you look at that. Yeah. If we go to Stirling Uni, if you think of the first game against Stirling Uni, we got, um, was it Cookie sent off? Yeah. So we're down to 10 men and the game was kind of like huffing and puffing for both sides. But if you look and at three of the goals, there were breakaways for us, pressure on them. Aye, and that's the thing. I'll, you said it earlier on. Teams haven't had to work really hard to get some of their yeah. goals and I think that's been ironed out but we're now in at the sticky part of the season you like it sticky and uh, <laughs> we've obviously uh, we've obviously now just got to knuckle down yeah. and see where we go because like 10 games 30 points listen that's achievable it is achievable it's a big ask but listen if you don't set yourself targets there's no point in trying I think as well we're probably you could argue we could be 10 points at minimum better off. Oh, I've just said it. I've rattled yeah, off yeah. four games there. Yeah. Two East Stirlings and two a draw away Spartans when you miss a penalty 92 and the draw away creating at home. There's 10 points straight yeah. away. But I thought it between you two today. No, no, we're just, we're just <laughs> being, uh, being no, professional. No, no, it's, it's a good league. It's a hard league. No, I was just watching it. Aye, but it's, it's a tough league. It's a good league. I'll tell you what, it's a good league. It's a higher level. No, I'm going to say that. Do you know, speak to lower league players? No, no. No, I do, mate. I do. That was a good game. It was the breaking. So you weren't, mate. Do you know, be Mike McDonald? He was, I think he was urged just before me. Just I, before I, you? He, I think he left and I came in again. So. Ah, what a player. Was, um, have you watched the documentary? The, the, the recent episode that uh, came out? Brilliant, isn't it? Was, Did you, have you watched it? The one about the The one, the, oh, the, the documentary, the, the whole club. The trip to Bucky. Oh, I've seen it. I yeah. well, was disappointed that there wasn't a, a video in it of someone jumping about the bus <laughs> ball at me. <laughs> Mate, I'm no. not joking. I swear to God. I think when it was coming out, so I woke up. I think I woke up the night, it was a Sunday morning it was coming out, so <laughs> see about three in the morning on Saturday, I went, fuck, I have no message to the producer. I was, I think Mars is going to be in that. <laughs> Maybe see that way you get a pure fear for it. But thank mm. God the producer took it out. Oh, bro, we Brock was I've... outstanding on that. Oh, but I think somebody said he's getting a bit of stick for his, Aye, his accent, his or the way the body shoes his accent. accent's terrible, he kept saying, what was it, um, Terry's, Terry's. Oh, right, uh, he's, he's fairly yeah, in that, isn't it? That's just him, though, isn't it? We were a man doing the, other, the last game and he's come in after the game and says, my back's killing me, carrying news loss. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Can't brilliant. Can't brilliant. Brilliant. Can't even knock him, can you? Brilliant. No, he's, he's a confident boy. It backs up. Who it guys, he was so funny. And I'll see you, mate. Oh, oh, what a boy he is. Oh, you great boy. Did you oh, call me guys? Boy. Boy. He was at Hamlet. I was at Hamlet. He was a young boy at the time. Brilliant boy. Brilliant crackpot. Most canon. But lovely boy, man. A lot of time for him. For two hours. 
And then all of a sudden, ah, give me a bottle when half that bus steaming. <laughs> Aye, some Two boy. Down the road, some like, boy. I'm not drinking, I'm not drinking, and ended up out in the tin. Oh, bro, wait. Aye, Aye, some boy. Who was that? Basil was by Basil was on it talking a lot, wasn't he? He was quite good talking Basil. Basil we need to get him on. Was he? Aye. He's asking. We don't have Basil on. Aye, he's just putting my ear, isn't he? Aye. He's one he got into gear a bit because he slaughtered his gear. Oh, so he's still not happy. A lot of people like him on gear a bit. Because you've just gave them it, mate. Who would you say? You've changed. You've changed, mate. Track for them, mate. They're back to phone, now. I I said that's, that's the number you've got. That's not even right. Yeah, you phoned somebody else. <laughs> Did you bring that photo in you had? I've got it, mate. I've got that. He says he had a photo. Oh. A trip to Newcastle. We're, Kev, we're all sitting right. Newcastle Tottenham right game. So we're all sitting at the table. All the boys are drinking, blah, blah, blah. Sit and watch it. And he's come in with like flip flops and that right? He's like, I'm going for a haircut. Who's coming? I'm like, what are you talking about, Slaney? He says, no, I'm going for a haircut. Anybody they coming? And I watched the game. Sit down. He's like, no. Went away. About an hour and a half later, he's came back, mate, right? He's walked in, he just, that bit he said was just shaved right up. There's, there's my phone. The old guy. My phone's there, I'll go and get it. I need to show them. I need to show them. I need to show them. It's old incredible, mate. The big bit's flat out here, and that bit's shaved right down, mate. I honestly, the boys just hit it. Do you think back of that? No, no, no. That was a complete melting in Newcastle. <laughs> what what were you thinking? I remember the, 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 the other teams were there. Honestly, Kev. Stop pulled though, didn't you? Aye. No, it wasn't. I was quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't miss you back then, I don't know. You didn't. I thought you did. No, I didn't. But see, that night, I remember after that haircut, I was going out. And all the other teams were English teams and Scottish all teams right. were all there, and they were all coming at me like that. You alright? You alright? I mean, you know, he's still alive, they weren't all at me. You actually still alive? That was brilliant. Did he drink? Do you drink? No. Still don't drink, man. No. So he did drink. drink. Are you drove during the bus? I, I remember that. So See, I'm a good guy, that's what I do, mate. Well, what's happened in that trip? That was wild. It was brilliant, wasn't it? You think anything else? I was a photo of you, mate, but I'm not. Have you? I'm not going to. I want to see them going to buy a shoe, mate. I hope he's not the guy who doesn't drink. No, I'm not that. I'm not one of the guys. What have you lost? No, I'm not one of the guys. I'm not one of the guys, brothers, honestly. Right, Hush, we're going to go into your career. I didn't yes, know this, mate, and I know what? about you. No, no, I know about you. You started at Aberdeen as a kid, mate. I did, mate, aye. So what age were you? How did you get shouted with him? We were at Tatman's. I was at Rangers. He started with, with John Brown and that, and he wanted to sign me. At the time, it was a two year deal, blah, blah, blah. And then, agent at the time, she thought it's fell through. So at that time I was nearly greeting at the time, so I'm thinking, why is it fell through? What's happening here? He said, listen, you're going to Aberdeen the, the following week. I got there with Jim Layton and done well. And I got Jim Layton, it was there? Jim Layton, he was my goal. Aye, he was good. He was old school. I liked was him. He? he was good, but... Um, so just, you had, did you need to stay up there, mate? I stayed, I left school. Straight for school, 16, straight up. Many years And Diggs was there about three, nearly three, four years. Was that hard, mate, moving away for eight? It's not, it's all right. 16? I was 6, 17, aye. 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 It was hard because I was obviously back... I was a homeboy, I just loved being here and that, and then just leaving to go to Aberdeen was, was difficult, but I enjoyed it. We enjoyed actually, it. We, we were talking about this yesterday when uh, Cal Nismith said when he went away, it actually helped him, but then Sai kind of said when he went away, it almost he got a wee bit lost, because he didn't have like, people there to sort of ground him or tell him. It did, it did with me, obviously I wanted, see I was younger, see looking back now, I wish I'd have stuck in and just went and that focus on it. I was wanting to go back, see on a Friday, see if they play the 19s game or, or the reserve game, I was wanting to get back home, so I get back to the train and get back home, yeah. instead of just going right now. What Focus now, but he mocked Cardi on, boy. It's funny I was how always that mindset worked. I was like, you, 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 Worked out alright for me, but yeah. I was the same. It's I was the exact same after the oh. game, train him. Ah, you're always That's right. Even, even, like, even, like when I, even like when I was at Sunderland, right. when I, my two years as a YT, mm -hmm. we, we were only allowed to go home like every 12 weeks or something. Right. And that was fine because they paid for you. had like in your contract, you had like four all expenses paid trips home. Mm -hmm. But then once you made the first team and you're earning more money, as soon as a game was finished on a Saturday, my thought was back to Aye. Aye. Hey, get back to Schnoy to see my mates. So I'll go back. I went back now and I think, well, have I, I don't have a lot of regrets if it went for I hardly have any. But the one thing I could probably pinpoint is see if I'd have just a stayed down the road. Aye. And just no bothered going home drinking. Because I was going home like on a if I was say suspended or injured on a Saturday, I'd game on the Friday after training, about Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday club, maybe phone Mad Mick on the Monday to say that I was fucking dying, <laughs> or somebody was fucking, somebody was ill, Aye. hey look after my mum, she's Aye. not feeling very well, and then turn up on the Tuesday and you're thinking, you've just had four days on the drink, Aye. and looking back now you're thinking, that, that wasn't acceptable, Aye. whereas had you just stayed away, concentrated on the football and fully focused on the football mm. what could have been yeah. I've used some careers but no I know I did good, but good, I good still career, look back and mean? think it could have been better it could have been a lot better mm -hmm. could I looked after my body better I used to think because I was a big guy mm -hmm. I could push everybody off the ball mm -hmm. but there was guys that I couldn't push off the ball so had I went to the gym more 
and bulked yeah, up a wee bit more and got a bit more powerful, yeah, more yeah. dynamic or something. Can you, like you say a bit more no stiff? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have worked <laughs> in yoga, I could have got my hamstrings, I woke up for it. I could have done others. Yeah, We've talked about the boy be. Alan Campbell yesterday, apparently he's got the gym in the house and he's got yeah, himself, he's now running by he's players and stuff because he's identified something he can do to make himself better. Sometimes you need a bit of guidance, but sometimes it's uh, majority you need to do it within yourself. I think you need that. It's just saying you need to do it within yourself. You need to do it, it within to come yourself. You. Aye, it has to. Somebody could say, yeah, I go, okay, but stay up. But if you don't want to do it, then... Aye. 100%. Who was that Aberdeen? Who was the players in that team? The first team at that time? Stan Young, Desi, uh, Jay McAllister, David Priest, Ryan Essen. Who was, the, who like was that then manager? Then Jeb Skodal was there at the start when I was there. Skodal. And then it was uh, Steve, Steve Parson. Steve Parson. Aye, aye. aye. Him after that, so but Jim Lake was always he was my coach right up right it? through. So, how was it? Um, how was like the first team boys? Were you quiet because you mean you're old, like, good, but were you aye. quiet when you were young? See, to be fair, they, they loved me because I was I'd have to have boy not jumping in that. Seeing the rest of all the boys were scared to go in, and I'd put my head in, just jump in and have a laugh and a joke. So, they they took to me quite well. Know what I mean, I remember one day it was Big Dinky, Marker, and uh, Des and all that. So, I've jumped in and he's thought we're gonna grab, sort of grab me. Stuck me in the physio chair and actually taped me the full fit, mate. And I, I couldn't move the left me for a bit. I half an hour, mate, sitting like that. I'm at what chief I got up here. I swear to God, they were howling, mate. Right? I'm at my kid, just let us up, please. They went, don't come back to this dress room, you're a wee gals. I'm at it, you bother me. I'll stay in there, I'll stay in there. But I always you. find with that, see, see if they've done that, I always find they like you. Aye, right. took see to me. if they didn't really do anyway. No. Bother me, you've thought, I didn't feel bad. Right. You know, were you lats when you were at Hibs? Could well, the first team boys lat me, you? Uh, a wee bit like we had a wee group because we were stuck up there we used to hang about to six o'clock at night and mm -hmm. you'd do the big kit man big gym would come in with the brush man switch your lights off and just swing that brush that was a hang mate ah mate the lights off in the boot room in the boot room with the lights, the lights off what, what, oh. who the fuck came up with that used to, we used to put the in the in of Cairn Ball used to say right, I heard you all been fucking carrying on at the weekend getting that fucking boot room now <laughs> so then you go to the boot room right, there's maybe like 20 of us in a boot room that was no bigger than a fucking four by four metre room and he'd fucking take he says he can grab whatever boots he's want and there's a ball, keep the ball off each night in the boot room with the lights off, door locked. It's worth taking boots off the, the thing and stuff. <laughs> I made mean, it feel for us. I yeah. try to keep the ball, kicking the ball, everyone was looking for this ball, and it was just like, you come out and everybody was battered and bruised, guys with blood nose, and you're like, like, and he says, that's better, right? He's a, he's a unit, he's not staying together and all that. And you're like, I remember the worst man, initiation right? thing I've ever. Kevil's one at Aberdeen, that's boy Kevin, I'll never forget this, McHattie, right? So, so he's turned it, he's put about four soaks and put it in the shower and wet it, right? So it's like a, it's like a wetting, right? So we, everybody's walking in and lights up and the body's panting. Rick Foster's like, oh, what's going in, mate? And I'm like, so I've jumped in and bang, man, I just felt scud and I'm like, oh no, it's like, weird days, mate, mate. I'm like, guys, are you alright? I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to kill, get away from me. Mate, nearly wiped me clean out. Soak about four soaks in the one soak, <laughs> wet soaking. That's not it. Oh, mate. That doesn't happen. No, no, it doesn't happen. Now, now, it's, it's back different. at like, you think if somebody now that happened now, that's oh, different, mate. It would be, it would be like, I, I think it happens in some clubs that are still old school. Mm -hmm. But it, like, are you they imagine don't that at the top? Anymore? No, I don't. see the young boys. It's like you know, there's nothing there anymore. Yeah. But with the bibs and I was quite clean. You clean toilets, scuttons and yep. You know what I mean? Oh, now, it's different now, there's no really... Beating the FA Cup semi-final, no, FA Cup, U, U, FA Youth Cup, and they were terrible, and Peter Reid just came down and went, right, see you's. Stayed in the light in the morning, nine o'clock, the lotties, bring your scrubbing brushes, made us clean all the stairs of the stayed right. in the light. That's they were terrible in just one game, you're like... Imagine saying that to like young kids now that are nah. maybe five, ten grand a week, just eighteen years old, we including the, the stadium. Nah, just look at it, laughing. Right, no. Was there anybody at Rangers brothers that would be like, like ten, no terrorise your young ones, but uh, wind them up or Nah, because see before the young boys weren't really allowed along there, but, uh, no. but you'd have ones that would come like Cal, Cal would come along and we'd be so cocky. Would he? Me and the boys and all that. He'd come and train with us and that. Uh, How am I not playing? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, 17 year old. Look at me. I should be starting. Oh, did bro. you like, so, I, I know you, like, you like Cal, but did you, did you ever go like he needs to wind his neck? No, nah, I was just pissing myself. Uh, David Weir and Jig and that would smash him. 
Was he? Uh, see if he wasn't in their team, they, he was getting it. Aye. But to be fair, Carl didn't care. He just got up and going with it, and then you would see him in the gym because the young boys weren't allowed in the gym until the first time. Mm-hmm. Carl and Carl and Nicole were in there first, <laughs> pumping weights in front of the first team. They two would start the gym. Well, this is half, my gym. Uh, <laughs> he would do the taps half. He would do the tap half and go look at that six pack oh, man. Bro, it's still six or seven there, there. <laughs> and he'd just be walking about, and there was like the worst fucking six pack you've ever oh, seen. Bro, just wee tiny blocks. Did co- I, I mean, he has this. Well, did McCoy used to get annoyed at him all the time? I think McCoy just kind of gave up on him. <laughs> like, he just, like, I think he just gave, that. like, gave up on him in terms of, like, he was funny. Like, he was really, really funny. He would, like, it's uh, he would come idea. up and just say, like, like, that's the guy if I put that fucking team up and I'm not even in it, man. I should really go and just chuck his door and say, Gaffer, oh, boy, you, you made a mistake. It's quality. You made a mistake. It's and quality. he probably would say to him, and then the gaffer would just, well, McCoy was different at that time. He was different. He was different. But he was doing that when it was Walter's team. Aye. See if Boydie has scored 30 goals a season. How am I not playing ahead of him? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can score more oh, than that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Touch back to you on that, uh, yes. Aberdeen. How did it, we, so we were there two, three years and then you Aye. ended up leaving. Was it Clyde you I'll, went to meet? No. I went, no, to, no, I went no. to Peter Sol Juniors. Did you? It was my dad's, um, my mate was his manager at the time. And he's like, me listen. Because I wasn't interested. See, when I left it, it was like, what do you know? Steve Pat said, oh, you're a bit, bit small, blah, blah, blah. And my confidence was shattered a wee mm-hmm. bit, to be honest. And I came back and it was like, what did I do now? I was like, oh, I don't why. I'm sick of it. Just smart. I don't know why I do anymore. And then I went there and it was probably the best thing I've ever done. It was man's football. Mm-hmm. I was just getting Great. watered, smashed all about the place. And it, mm-hmm. it, I loved it. Oh, I loved it. Guy called Psycho. Oof, that, was his, that was his nickname. <laughs> so I was like, I was staying behind him every, every corner, you <laughs> know what I mean? So, but it, it made me a better goalie, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I loved it. And then after that, I went to Clyde. And Who was that? that Joe Muller was? Joe Muller, I Joe took me in. And it was the time when I think Shirley had just beat, beat Clyde 2 oh, 1. Oh, and uh, so I'd came in after that. And it was like, he said, listen, Peter Cherry's my number one, blah, blah, blah. I says, well, me being me, I says, well, I want, I want my chance. And I says, give me a chance and I'll, I'll take it. He says, I will. He says, I'll get it this year, but it's up to you to do it. Big Peter Cherry, man, was raging. Obviously, I played in the cup game. We won, got in the final. Never looked back, three years. Hung on the game for a couple of Just never looked back. I but that's just the, the mentality I had, you know what I mean? It was like, I like to play. Was Bob Brown there at Clyde as well? Aye, he was with me and all, brilliant. Was he good? Brilliant. Was he? Loved him, aye. Was he mental? He's got eye crap, brilliant. Look. I loved him, he was just, he just said how it is, you know what I mean, he would just tell you, if you weren't doing it, if you weren't good enough, he would just, boom, hit you straight with it, no mess about. I get told the last night, and I don't know, George Alberts was in. Mate. Is that true? George, I played with George for about three months, he was my hero, right, growing up, I loved George Alberts, blah, 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 and I remember him one day in training, he's like, oh, did you see any chance of staying out for maybe half an hour after training? I was like, George, you're my eating for you, eating you want, I'm there, right? She's like, I'm going to line up Boz free kicks. No bother. She's hit the first one, right? Which went, and I was like, that. I no bother, George, right? Second one, he's hit, and I couldn't get my hand. It hit me there. I swear to God, Kev, nearly took the sock out of my shoe. And I went, George, I'm away, mate. Just get one, get one of the young boys in, man. See you later. Just, I just thought he started laughing. Yeah, but, to I, mate. but see, the first game, he was like, he was 37 at the time. And he was falling out of the ball and all that. We were going, I'm not. And then the second game we played, I think it was uh, still in Albion, fourth bank. And, a free kick, 30 yards out, and I'm like, just, just hit the target. Mate, stuck it right in the stands. I've actually ran about 900 yards to get to celebrate with my mum jumping to him, kissing him. Like, John Brown, bomber. We were struggling at the time at Clyde in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> we were obviously doing a boat with that, and he said, We're going to bring him in. Just morale, everything just lifted. Mm-hmm. We end up, because we do him there and all that. We're, we're playing Is at the time. Guy, like, sound- I, he was brilliant, see, for the club and all that. The boost it gave us when we were, were struggling at the time. He was, Who was, he the was incredible. Who was the character in that team? Doug Emery, he's Doug Emery, he's. Nuts, mate. It's my He's not like that now, but you speak to Dougie, though. He's not seeing him in the pitch, side of the pitch, but for Morton, he's shooting a ball. Aye, but he's, still, isn't he? but he's, he's done really well for Morton as well. That is very good. Very good, mate. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. He's done. I, I, I think, I think really the well. fact he took in Andy Millen with him, what a. Andy yeah, Miller's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant. And remember, he was a player. Well, we had Andy there. Remember, he was brilliant. Aye. They've just got his cape. Aye. 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 If you're working with Andy, if you can't like Andy, then. Remember the time Marco got sacked? We were all trying to get my job, man. We get a bit fuller. No remember me. Are you? But no remember this. So he's trying to get the job, and then I, I started on the bench. 
Right. Yeah. Centre half after five minutes. I remember that. Was that the game against Clyde? Guy, I don't was he to get. I don't know if he was. We were trying. We were like, oh, we'd love Andy to be the be the manager. So we really had to. So we were in a right bad run. Mother was just sacked, and then Andy was just taking it for a couple of games. So we were like, listen, we need to win here because obviously they win for Marco as well. But I just mean if Andy's getting a chance of getting this because he was involved with Marco, and then I start on the bench, and it wasn't that day we got started on the bench, but I came on, and that was a one where Andy Boyle. I think Bye. the worst touch in history. I know you've seen a few this season for me, but I think the worst touch in history. And I fucking chasing. You've seen that flip right. Bye. 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 And then that, I thought, that's it. Kill Andy, didn't we? Aye, we did die. Did Andy Greatest guy in football we've done that to him. No. No. Well, it was great. Did he? No, but I've seen, remember, do you remember the one Andy did go and took somebody? Oh, Mikey. Mikey, Mikey McGowan, the brought of the boys. I've never seen remember that. Mate, Mikey, Mikey said something. Oh. And he went like, shut up. Mikey said something again. I'm like, ah, here he goes. <laughs> Next spirit. Boom! Right up to yeah. balls everywhere, and I'm like, why not? Because don't get the wrong side of Andy. Right, because you, you don't. But never seen that side of him. No, so it wasn't no, like we no, all no. seen him being nice and he was in this and he's that. Was Andy not playing boom. then? No. No, 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 he was. No, he no, 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 nothing. No, he didn't even join in. I don't know. No, no, he was. Think was done by that time, but he just one side. Because somebody kept saying like, Andy's nuts, nothing, and you meet him like he's the greatest guy ever. He's so nice, and then that day, did you ever see him twitch? That first year, I was there. I don't know who it was he went with, but. He fucking go off him, man, and he just knew. Aye. I'm sitting there as a senior pro thinking. I'm sit- sitting I think I'm sitting next to him. Like but the young guys just, they want to get a bit back. Aye. Aye. And you're like, just shut up, listen to what he's saying. He's Aye. had a good career, Aye. Andy. He knows what he's talking about, listen to him. Aye. But Did you ever play against Andy then when you came Aye. back up the road? St Mirren. Mm-hmm. So did I play them? I was a good player, I think. Aye. 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 I played Aye. against him. Do you know the oldest, one of the oldest Aye. players in the Scottish Premier League mm-hmm. he could be eh? he's one of them I played at like 40 odd why do you think no? why do you think Andy doesn't want to be a number one I just I think, think he's genuinely like coach 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 but he's worked in football his whole life mm-hmm. and like when, when I we used to share a lift with him didn't he come on old he had a wee job during the day working as a a gardener helped him with the garden. Oh, he was doing the helping the boy with the gardens mm-hmm. and then he would do it two night. But it just his training was good. It was his training good. was enjoyable. It was, enjoyable, it was like it was, the boys loved it. It was all it was all drilled but appropriate yep, to, to the game. To the game. game and that's what it, that, it wasn't you were never standing about bored. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the intensity was good. I liked that, that about it. Guy. I thought like you could, I thought I, I would I still use him now. I would go around and chat his door and him for his book and like drills and right. look for ideas and stuff because he's and even when I do some of the courses that I'm doing with SFA, I would ask Andy for advice on mm-hmm. them because he's, he's he he does the assessing as well. Does he? I don't know if he does do it anymore because he's full time. Oh, maybe no, just, yeah. maybe he doesn't do it now. But he he did mm-hmm. do some of like the the B license and A licenses and stuff. But brilliant guy, brilliant yeah, guy. You can't be done, remember, you could try to cry him off and you told me to get to and I chased him. Him off, Simon Glenaff. Die, did he? Die. He's turned. I was in Hutsey's team, right? Aye, but God's arm, like, right, pass, get away from my goal. He was like, there, yeah, right? <laughs> and he tried to crawl him off, come off to the gaff, started laughing, had to get up and put it in, and I'm like, drive to Slaney. the line. Oh. He's like, get yours. And, and I went like, I lost that bomb, chased him, mate. Chased him, fall around the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was, wasn't it? Aye. Who was he? You're you fighting with somebody in the dressing room, I know. Who? Jai. It was, remember? That was a bucket, remember, I something had happened and he was just, he was the one standing, remember? So funny. He was standing up like that, and everybody sat down. He's looking at me, and I'm like, you looking at And he's like, so and I went off, and it just bumped. I mean, that period it was just, horrible, it was by the mental. way, wasn't it? We just kept getting beat and getting but we beat. We had a decent team, seeing paper. Look, we had some, right. some yeah. really I mean, good I, players. We were, Jai we was brilliant. Jai was brilliant. brilliant. Scotty in the middle. Aye, Scotty, big beats, Moff. No, Moff had just left, I'm sure, mate. I'm sure he did. Was we Forrest there? Forrest was there. Um, but it was a right good team, mate. But Mikey Donald still there. Big McKenna, aye. Scott McKenna. He played at the back. He was after me. Was he after you? Were you in there when McCall came in? I'd, I'd played probably, he came in, I think it was four so months ago. Did you play with Big Jamie then? Jamie Adams, aye. Aye, aye Big Jamie, aye. That's my brother. They're a good team, mate. Did you, uh, get, you get, get on the call? Oh, nah, all right, aye. Don't be sitting the fence now. I might sit the fence, I might sit, nah. It was, um, so you're obviously I played, aye, we played 10 the season. I think they'll fell on interested me at the time. I said, I'm quite happy here. And then, in the season, said, nah. No, for me. He did they probably know with that team. Aye, he did. Got us promoted, didn't he? Aye. So how long ago was that then? 2013, am I right? No. Aye. 13, 13 was my year. 14. Aye, 14, 15, aye. 15, 2015. You two together. But for that team though, it's weird, do you think that for that team, Forrest and Nicky, they've done a Nicky, aye. Done really well. Hearts and hearts. 
Oh, the ones, we, the ones we James has brought, I want to say, like, he was a good, he was only, like, he must have been about 16 or 17 when, was mm-hmm. when I was there and he was just a wee skinny wee boy. Aye. And it, every, everybody just kept asking him, oh, every day he came in, what, what's your bra up to? I know, and said, I'm bad, I know. He just sat there quiet in the corner. Aye. And then, because there was a couple of stories floating about you, but his bra, and we were asking him that, what about James, is that true, what he's up to and all that? And then, now, obviously, he's went to Livy. Then hearts. To hearts and fair play. Did you, you, player? Did you hate it when you were there, Kev? No, 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 the actual air, but I mean, your, the way your game had went or whatever like that, were you struggling? Aye, I just like, I'd, I'd left Rangers at the third division for an injury and just thought I would get another team, like maybe like Championship or something. Aye. Didn't have an agent, I never had an never ever had an agent and I've tried, I phoned a couple of clubs, said, could I come in and train me? And they're like, nah, I phoned Partick Thistle. Uh, Alan Archibald, he said, no, I phoned somebody else, no. And then somebody phoned me and says, Kev, try to come down to air. And I says, we'll give you 300 quid a week. And I was like, right, okay, that's what I've got. And I went down yeah. and I think just that alone, I just kind of gave up. For air? I ah. thought you'd, you'd done that. No, like, then I tried. It just, it just, I used to just go up. Ah, right, no, you, listen, it was all right. It, it just, was all right. Uh, because it, you were used to being full time, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to part time, part-time, time and I come on all the, on a Tuesday night, sitting all day in the house with the kids. Aye. And then think, no, I've got to go to training for six o'clock. I just didn't. Did you enjoy it? I didn't. No, listen, see uh, the uh, dressing yeah, room. It was good, wasn't it? And the people there. Uh, it was good. Amazing. Yeah. Marco, I Kills don't him. dislike Marco. <laughs> I just had a different opinion of how I thought the team. Would you tell him that? Sure. No, I wouldn't tell him. Just, I just. There was an assistant guy in there called Davy White, and I thought he was hopeless. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I just thought his training was shite. He took him training one night and I walked half the part and I said, well, no, Dave, this is shocking. This is shocking. And oh, uh, well. I just had a lot of respect for Andy yeah. Allen. I thought yeah. Andy was brilliant. Kerzo as well. And uh, Kerzo, Kerzo, fucking brilliant. Kit man Kerzo, he was amazing. And then I just got to the end of the season and as, as I had my form declined, he just used to say to me with two minutes to go, you're going on, big man. I'm like, I'm not fucking on. I used to just go Stick the young boy on. <laughs> Stick the young boy on. Would you do that, aye? Aye, I said, uh, Marco, I'm not going on for two minutes uh, to go. Stick with Arlen on or something and mm-hmm. give him a, 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 the experience of playing or we Robbie Crawford or somebody. Aye, aye. And, then, you on it? and then that was it. And then when it, when it, when it actually came to an end and I thought, do I want to go through that harsh of phone and managers again, try to get a club? I didn't know nothing about June. I tell you, I'm not right. This is, this is I, I'm convinced of this. I'm pretty sure Mick Kennedy phoned me after there and said, Do you want to go to Colville? I'll give you a couple of hundred quid a week. Oh, I'm pre- I'm a yeah, hun- I forgot uh, that, that day he was in, and then I thought, Nah, fuck it, I'm going to go and get a job. And I'm just going to get home in my life. Forget all about football together. And then I got a job, started applying for fucking bakeries, I started applying for everything. Every job, I. And then somebody says, Go offshore, let's print the money offshore. And I got that job. I remember. That. Toilets and the shite. I remember. And, that. That. and I just went and I, I worked that. there for two years. 18 days on at a time, 10 days halfway for the family, 12 hours of shifts a day, yeah, and got fucking slaughtered. And the paper, I was in the paper. I just kept going, and I thought, I just kept going, got it done. Why though? I know, I know, but I just, hey, listen, I got, I got it done. And then I decided to come back, become a taxi driver. And then these boys one day asked me to come right, on the show. Yeah. I've got my love for football back, and now I just Brilliant. like, I don't check it out. Great show, by the way. Great show, by the You went full time all your career to part time. Part time, aye. And you struggled to train at night. Aye. Mm-hmm. So I you struggled. that for the first mm-hmm. three years. I just, I, just mm-hmm. I loved, I loved, like, I'm quite, um, I'm quite uh, robotic in terms of like, when I know that it's Monday to Friday, we're, up, we're in at Rangers at nine o'clock, Aye. and I'm routine, blah, 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 and we're leaving at four o'clock, and that's me done. I knew that every day when I was at Rangers on that fucking treadmill at seven o'clock, then we'd do a gym session, then we'd do the training, and I had to yeah. stay back and do a, a weight session, because McCoy's like, we need to get two stone half you minimum. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wasn't that heavy, actually. Uh, fucking, I didn't think I was. It was just mm. Jimmy Bale giving me fucking small shots. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, shots. And I like that routine, but see, like, if you think about it, I'm at home, I've got, at that time, 2013, I've got a, I've got a two-year-old or something, We Harry, and I've got Max is seven. So Max at school got Harry, and I'm like, Harry, come on, we'll go and play nine holes at the golf. So I'd go and do 18 holes at the golf with Harry in the buggy. <laughs> and then I'd get in the house, maybe go for a wee, a wee pub lunch into the golf course. Yeah, quite training. And then think, oh, <laughs> fucking hell, I've been training. training and I just had no interest. Aye. And I wasn't getting any enjoyment out of it. Mm-hmm. What age were you then? Maybe 32. Fuck. I was only 32, 33, uh-huh. aye. I was still young. I thought I had loads to offer, but mm-hmm. okay. fucking head was gone. I just couldn't get motivated right. to... It's, I it's get it's difficult when you've right. been full-time and you can do it. It's hard to get get going again, isn't right. it? Because as you said, you're used to that. I've just been scunnered with 
injuries I think that had really that got right. to me and I just thought I can't go this again mm-hmm. but listen met him Great met Kerzo <laughs> ended up meeting you meeting new brothers right. some of the people I've met Good. since giving up football right. my life's fucking brilliant <laughs> Yes, <laughs> honestly, don't take it too seriously. It's magic. That's what you're What a man. Yeah, that's that good. street. Man, big man, that's what you're after. Is <laughs> Tell me me for a podcast in a day for something like that. Brody McGowan. Brody, yep. Um, Cal Naismith said he's going to retire at 40. He wants to try to get to 40. Have you, have you set a age for yourself? No, I've not really looked at it like that. Uh, so I think it's how you feel. Okay. Like, I Good don't wake up after games in agony or so. I actually got up the next day and go a run. So, have you have you felt at any point? And I don't mean just at any point going after a game or after going. I don't know if this is for me anymore or I want to. Some, obviously, I've had two backups, so my back gets sore sometimes, and sometimes I think, right, do I leave it? But you actually feel worse when you don't do nothing for a couple mm-hmm. of days. So that's why I train all the time because I feel better for it. Mm-hmm. So. If I'm going to train all the time, I might as well do something I love and keep mm-hmm. playing while That's I, what I was going to ask you. Like, I think of how I felt. So, flipping it to you now at 38, stroke yep. coming 39, do you still have that love and desire to want to succeed? No, succeed, because that's the wrong word. You've, you've succeeded in your earlier career. Su- like, desire to want to achieve something with some- in a different capacity, like with the Broomhill, the project that's happening here. Do you still have that burning desire to think, oh, I can really make a difference there? Because I felt like I didn't have something to, yeah. like, uh, fight for, if that makes sense. Whereas, uh, do you wake up and think, oh, I'm looking forward to training Tuesday, Thursday, play Stirling Uni Saturday? Can he wait? Uh, I look forward to the games. Um, training sometimes is a bit like yourself. You, you do stuff through the day and then uh, you come. Half five at night, you're like, oh, I need to go to training. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather be going to my, my kids' classes, but yep. I don't get there and then I think, oh, this is rubbish. I get oh, there right. and it's enjoyable. Really when, cool. I, when I get mm-hmm. into it, I feel great. Um, mm-hmm. But I still train every morning. Like, I get up every morning, I go straight to the gym, I go my f- 5K one day, two and a half the next, depending on where games are. Mm-hmm. I think it's more for a mental side. Yep. Like if I don't do that, I feel terrible. Aye, aye. Aye. It's because you're used to doing all yep. the time. It's, it keeps me sane and aye. it keeps my body feeling good. I think if I just shut down, I would feel, to be honest, like a bag of shit. Aye. I would that's, feel that's, terrible. That's, 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 that's how I'm feeling. Do you miss it? <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. Do you miss playing? No, I don't miss playing. Do you miss the dressing room? Or do you miss playing? I'm, I, 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 I did for a while miss the banter around aye. some of the shit that went on in the dressing room. But now that I coach little kids, I enjoy a different type of banter with them. Like, Aye. like to have, to having a wee conversation with them about football mm-hmm. and stuff. And then obviously this, the podcast, Aye. the Broomhill thing where like maybe asking side questions after or side asking or Slaney asking, playing, how do you Aye. think we played last Aye. night? And being able to maybe give a summary whether it's right, mm-hmm. wrong or indifferent. Just being able to talk about something that you did for so Aye. long. Yeah. It's brought that enthusiasm back for it, and I'm yeah. like now rifling through coaching badges to try and see if there's an opportunity for Kevin Kyle somewhere. And that's the same as me. I'm, I'm the same with the, with the coaching thing because I used to go to like goalie, like I'd go to somebody and ask him, "What do you think?" And now Josh is coming to me, oh, yeah, Aye, and it's trying to get yeah. that balance. You know what I mean? Because you can't know to, to ask enough questions. No, no, hundred percent. You've got to keep asking everywhere. You're yeah. always learning. I think Aye. if you Aye. you get to a point where you think I know all, oh, then you're goosed. Yep. Mm-hmm. You, you need to keep learning. And definitely, I'm still learning. Not everybody is, eh? No, me. Get a bit emotional, isn't it? I know. Like, yeah. it's a bit, I'm going to. I can't believe I missed this guy. He was an absolute legend. He's brilliant with me, um, Andy Gorham. My goal, you were yeah. really close with him, Hutch, weren't you? I, I was my mentor. He was, he was my guru. As he caught, and so sadly passed away. It was horrible for me to be honest. But um, he was obviously he was the best. Was it mm-hmm. far as I'm concerned, goalie coach? How long me. did you work with him for Hutch? Was it just well, the air? I was at air. Sit Clyde when we were very start with Bomber. Bomber right. brought him in. And then I took him, obviously, I said to Marco at air, took him there. And then I was at Hamilton, I said to Billy Reid, because I was struggling at the time. I was terrible, mate. And I was like, I need to do the goal in beside us just to get us a wee bus. Because he's the one to get my head in. He was so would you see him a lot of side of football, Hutch, I did, aye. He did. He was a, also the godfather of my, my daughter as well, wasn't he? So, so he, was, he, was, um, he was good for me. He was he was the best. Not I mean, he was the guru. What Hodgie, Alan Hodgkinson, was to him, he was to me. He was just, I could phone him and oh, pick his brains. And and he was good He was good with you. He was good with me, aye. And he, oh, see, he, I guess you can't learn after I just say, obviously, rest in peace to big 
Billy Thompson at Clarence Billy Aye. Aye. Great guy because uh, he was another one that was a genuine guy, old yeah. school Aye. proper guy had him at command that he one was a great guy Aye. Did you like that? Did he you know say something did he know say something like it's cold out there Billy it's like that cold out there the polar bear's got a jacket on what was he brought to you a great guy Aye. Loved his whiskey Aye. Whiskey and a cigar Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you Good goalie uh, back in the day, nah, weren't he? He was, he was, was decent. Two your own, as you've mentioned, the right, Gaz Fraser and Derek Lyle. Tell boy. What were they like at Aki's? Good. Del was brilliant. Del was just, he's always happy. I've never seen Del look angry. She sort of oh. used to play. But we have honestly, a couple of weeks. Oh, I think because he's maybe older. A bit by the simple bros. I'm not getting involved in that because he's hard uh, to watch. It. He used to. He's he's really really angry. Very happy. He's it, I used it's to be that seen that side. It's maybe. about another case of him being bullied. <laughs> Oh, Big, big Jim won't give him any free kicks. Oh. I think him and Jim travel that's together close. and that. that that's close like to a, a punch up that, innit? Oh, but Jim's got free kicks. He's a ref. He's a ref. He's a ref. He does a ref. Oh, that could cause a bit of friction. Did Derek get pure frustrated? Aye. 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 Aye.
But <laughs> four cases of big, big gruff that or something. I don't know. 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 I don't and then they played them at 1-2-0 and then the next week I was back in again but it was just because the complacency see because I never had anybody to compete with really it was just me so I kind of I was complacent and that's how we just threw them into <laughs> gave a wee scare and then the next class. week we'll get a clean sheet who's your um, who's your let me just go I'm going to go on the general questions Kev yep. we like this quick fire we take this hut it's alright mate right okay mate biggest burst up fights you've seen in a game or training game and training game, game or, or training, training. This game we can all answer this year. I think I've done this for you brothers about four times. Oh, no, uh, man, so because we've we've seen game it a million times, haven't we? We really, we boy, um, Clyde. But me, you talk about personally, me or something no, else. Just, the one you've seen. But if it's, I would rather if you show it, it'd be even better, right? It's the same. Let's hear like Conor when he talk about spoke about in the last podcast, and I ran up and gave him it in the head, something like that. But I'm not going to say it. But I can't even can't really think. Can you? It's hard bust ups. Bust ups. I seen Magic Bugera and Kenny Miller go at it. That would be a good fight. No, it's a one side beginner. Kenny, Kenny I think so. probably fought with everybody, yeah. I think so. Uh, Kenny had a few arguments. Aye, there. Kenny's had aye. a few. Very aye. opinionated, but good teammate. Aye. 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 Angry's teammate. It's got to be you, mate, innit? Anybody yeah. else rival you there? No, me. Opponent. You again. Played against? Angry's opponent. Oh, we David Cox. We Coxie. What a few runners we Coxie. Aye, he has. Oh, he's man, isn't he? Just angry. Just could have just bounced off each other, not me, that was it. <laughs> Any fan altercases during the match? I did, then it was last year. Oh. Uh, it was Aloha, my first game. Fair get to her, obviously. Big Neely's been there for six years. Get that, and uh, he's broke me in. Made a save. Boo! I'm like, that. that's, that's Aloha fans, that's not the Cowden Beast fans. Guys gave me absolute abuse, and I'm like, what is it? What's happening here? He's actually outside and all that. I says they bother me, but then the Tuesday night came. He's rocked up in his car, didn't he? He's like, that's how you doing, mate. He says, right, mate, I thought it was one of the young boys' dad. Do you want to speak to me, a goalie? He says, yeah, I was the one that was shouting and balling at you. I says, oh, really? Are you? Just put the bag down. Walked in and went, here, see before they go there. I'm here to apologise to you. I said, like, oh. I, I said, listen, I'm not here to get beat. I said, I've been brought in to obviously win, try and do my best for the club. He's like, ah, no, but I like, big, doing, Neil. I? I like big Neil Parry. No. I says, I know, it's not my day with me. I said, I've just been brought in the club to play. And then he just went, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really sorry, mate, and just then drove away. Say no bother, mate. That was it. What's the hair do about you? Give you dog boots. Ah, so, <laughs> next game, next game was like, yes. And then see, two weeks ago, we played that one. Just give me pelters again. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'll be in it. I'm like, what was Fergie like? What was ah, he was good, mate. He was good for me. He brought me in, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I enjoyed him. A lot of people say that he sucks. Ah, I thought he was brilliant, mate. Brilliant, mate. Ah, so it is, but he... Different levels that he's played it. So he's trying to put all the son boys that have we we'll played at that level, you know what I mean? It's difficult for them, you know what I mean? So it's like they were on the other stories with him. Ah, he's brilliant, mate. Come on, give something, stop sitting in the fence and tell you something. Not really go. Him and Bob, what type Bob? Him and Bob have got Did a good Did you see him going for any players, Fergie? The half time or anything? No, I had a wee go at me once. I had, a, I had a wee, right, you, you, you talk to you in your heart, man. And I went, Did oh, he? aye. But he's. Aye, he's he's aye. Gone, aye. aye, and I was like, just sat and never said it. Do you think he'll get back into football, Fergie? I hope so. Folks, I, think he's I think he, I think he probably has a. I think when you have his mentality as a football player, but he's played at the highest level. Get that. No he's quite what get... at a management level, he'll want to probably correct that. I would think. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thought he's, he's a still, good manager, mate. I thought he was really good. Like 46, 45, 46 mm. possibly. He's still got an. He was good, man. I was at Clyde and he was good. I loved him. Mate. I thought he was really good, Tim and Bob. But it would be, it would be sad if he didn't get back in. No, I, I hope he'll it does. Get him back in. Aye, yeah. aye, aye. He'll get him back in. What level, like? He might get anywhere. He'll get in at maybe. Rangers somewhere. Do you think so? Aye. If he wants to go in there, that's it. Would do. Would he go in there? Would he go in there? Because remember they knocked back, was it the system manager job or something like that, was it no? When, mm -hmm. Like when? Aye, because you know, no, because you're a senior, sorry. Because you know, said to him, where do you see yourself in a few years as he's sitting in your seat? Sitting in your seat, and that was it. Aye. Aye. By the way, that's brilliant. I love that. It's just pure honest, isn't it? No mess about it. Best player you've played with? Best player played with? Couple sitting here and also. Aye. You know, who is it? Must be Moff. Moff, aye. That was just about to come up with him. He was deep. No, I swear to God, see the pace of him and the touch. Oh. He was brilliant, mate. He who was magnificent. He came from Govern. He came from Govern. Govern, aye. Alberts, or not? Brilliant. Alberts. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. Three months, but you can't. I've got to say that, you know what I mean? It's a Rangers legend. You need to say, <laughs> say stuff like that. Who else? He's an half, you know, mate. The best players I've played with? Aye. 
Or I, actually, I'm going to slash it as well. Who's the best player you've played against? Best yes. strike it's like, battered you with goals. Moff battered me with goals. I know when I played the Hamilton. He did. He did. But I'm not going to no, lie. Okay, no, okay, no. He did. I was with Hamilton. He scored a hat trick. And then that time, remember, when I gave two penalties, he scored a hat trick. That day, I know, and he was slaughtering me. Any chance you scored a hat trick? We've just been beat because of you. What I mean? <laughs> no, he was good, to be fair. He was, he was brilliant. Um, Favourite manager? Favourite manager? Oof. It's a hard thing, isn't it? I'm going to say Rhys McCabe because oh, I'm going to can I say it Wait, am I sitting on the fence here no no so I, 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 Rhys McCabe that's fine but before his time before I like Bomber and I liked Chisholm at Queen of the South as well is it? I like Marco I, I'm not going to lie I like Marco, Marco as well good. I like Marco because I could relate to him he was a bit mental myself favourite game you've ever played in Celtic, yeah, you were picked up to Celtic, but I remember I embarrassed yourself that day, didn't you? Embarrass you did myself. embarrass Wait, yourself. Right, so see, see if you, you scored you that. Up. See if you scored that Ibrox, what was your day? He'd done walk Would back. Would you say, oh, wait, yeah, we can get to <laughs> Head down, walk back to remember the professional. Remember the time Ibrox would be... I remember, yeah. Remember, remember, Forrest, remember Forrest scored to make it one each, and the Renders fans were like, you may have and I've turned around, and the full Copeland was there, like, oh no. Oh no, remember that? No. Were you there? Oh, I wasn't there at that time, I forgot you played against Moff, Rangers. So Moff, Scotty. Malky went towards the Union Bears and we thought it was right about there. They are fans, aye. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? It's causing riots, but. Ah, uh, your favourite game? Probably like that, because it was. Because it's Ibrooks. No, oh, Selic. Oh, the Selic game? Did uh, you see a penalty that day? Aye. Who was that? Who was that? Sinclair. Was Scott Sinclair. Who was that? Had to because what I... happened though? Because there was a big, there was a big thing that happened on social media after it, wasn't it? About me? Aye. Aye, just because it. What did you do again? Boy. I just celebrated. I just. It's like, so you scoring a goal, would you? Didn't you celebrate? Me. So I was you done cheap fair, I was bad, I didn't like it. I was actually, left a bad taste. <laughs> 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 I was actually celebrating. Left a bad taste, my God, watching you doing see that. When I, see when I've done it? I'm actually still celebrating and they've took the corner and Sean Crichton's still trying to grab me back in the goal. <laughs> I'm still away at the Erdry fans at the corner flag and the corner's been taken. I'm running away back in. No, probably that because I stayed there. No, I mean, I enjoyed that. Worst team, mate. Worst team, mate. Oh, my spot. Somebody said, yeah. I was going to see you, but I can't because no, I like you, Slimmy. You on well. I like you. Funniest teammate then? You, mate. It's got to be it's you. Be me, I thought it? you were brilliant, mate. I did see the person, weren't I? I mean, what about the one you two fitted beats in the bath? Oh, I went right up the bath, remember that? <laughs> Save <laughs> the bath, sir. Him and beats were tight. The one in the old school bath? This was, 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 was horrendous. It was a wee bath. <laughs> we were sitting last night's hair in that bath. Was it not a nice bath, in fact, sorry? I think it was last night's hair in that bath. It was a nice bath. So I've done that to Slaney and Scotty. You were there, were you know? Oh, no. It might be it. you and Scotty. And I've done that. Watch this. Right, brothers, I swear to God. I've took a... I mean, I run at it and he's just sitting his feet like that. And I've jumped in. I've grabbed his feet. He's went halfway up this, <laughs> the bath. He came right back down. He's like, what is it? But the two, he's ended up just sitting in the bath. He's like, I've got the vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your advice to any young player coming through? And this is my new one, Eddie. Just go and enjoy it. No, I need me on that. I need much more on that. How? Go and enjoy football and Express yourself. My else? boy's a goalie. How old am I? How's he? One to one. One to one. Get him up, mate. Do you know, do you know he had uh, a goalkeeping company, clubs? No, it was Ke that's Kenny's. Kenny oh, Hartley. Okay, yeah. uh, I thought it was Kenny and Greg's. That's Callie. Joe, that's the. Joe Never Hart and Greg's in it. What? Never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, mate. Get Kenny on <laughs> here, by the way. <laughs> I've got one. Uh, I wanted to ask one more. What's your advice to anybody coming through? A wee bit better and enjoy yourself because I know everybody says that and I get that, but it's a bit. I no, but what, what, what do you the, think? For the early years, dedicate your life to it because mm -hmm. it's worth it. It is the best job yeah. in the world. See the for your fourteen to your nineteen. That's the hardest. It, yeah, it's, dedicate your life to it because we'll talk about back for the rest of your days. We'll talk about back like when I was a bit Aberdeen, you were at Hibs and all that. Don't like it. Focus on football. You know what I mean? Focus. My, my my take on it is that because of the eight nine year olds, right? See if you want to go to a club and have a bit of fun. Find that club that'll give you that bit of fun. Brilliant. See if you want to come to a football club and okay, try brilliant. and be a football player. Come and work hard and listen. Aye. Right? <laughs> good um, man, you can. Right, right, electric chairs just built in. Shouldn't let me talk. Electric chairs walking in. Right? Well, the electric chairs walking Where in. Is it? How's it walking? <laughs> so it's walking in. No, somebody's walking in for you. Me, me walking in for you. Right? It comes in and they say to you, right, that's one, one day to go. Their last supper. Fave, your starter, main and dessert, on you go. What are you picking? Having a... Mushrooms with the cheese in it. The 
treaded You wouldn't even make them, I'd take you out before the main. <laughs> if you're eating that. <laughs> you try to get out the box ring, you ran away. Hey, come on, right? Right, right, your main uh, mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms with cheese? Ah, that's a cracker. It's brilliant, breaded mushrooms, you like that? Ah, oh, that's nice, eh? Beautiful, mate. Hey, come on, main. Uh, a chicken Milanese with a pasta, I know penny bad, pasta. I know and uh, I'll go for angel cake and custard. That's not bad, actually. You sitting there? I might ask you one more. What? What is it? Boss manager. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Ian McCall. <laughs> but your oh, mum is bit about the bush, and that, that's that. the worst I you think. You asked me to cut that, and I can tell you're not that brave to say that. You know, you're not that brave to act like that. Ian McCall. Thank you. 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 Thank you.